How's it going, Dave and Combo Investments? So this is kind of big news, um, but CGC just got sued and lost. Yeah, they lost ten million dollars. Now a lot of people get sued all the time, bigger companies, you know, but usually the lawsuits, you know, never amount to anything. Maybe they settle out of court, but in this case, they actually did go to court and they lost. And it was a very long, long case. I think it spanned over eight years. Uh, so here's the article. It's on Collect. Um, and it says, CGC loses defamation case hit with $10 million in damages. Comic book restoration company claimed the CGC had harmed its reputation. So, yeah. Uh, so you get down here. It's like CGC leading greater, blah, blah, blah. Um, a jury assessed a $10 million in damages so basically, they went to court. CGC basically said, no, I, we deny this. And defamation usually means that uh, you ruin someone's character um, and they lose business because of it. So, so if you look here, the jury found that the CGC employee had knowingly defamed investment-grade books, a comic book restoration business. Now, it would be very interesting what, when we find out who that employee is. Just who is that employee that defamed it? It couldn't just be some random person in the shipping. Oh, no, it's it's someone big. Plaintiffs Matt and Emily Myers of uh, Investment Grade Books awarded $5 million in rep reputational and economic damages and $5 million in punitive damages. We are disappointed by the latest development that in nearly a decade-old case, and we are be filing an appeal. That's what the CGC president, uh, Max, Max uh, Spiegel, said in a statement. So they're going to try to file an appeal, but you know, who knows? They'll probably end up settling is what most likely will happen. Is I'm not a legal expert by any means, but the little I do know, um, I'm pretty sure they'll appeal. If it actually gets brought back, they'll probably do some settlement, and it won't be the full $10 million. Because $10 million is quite a bit. Like, Can you imagine if you're like, your restoration comic book company, and you're saying that basically because they hurt your re reputation, that it's $10 million in sales. I don't think any restoration company is doing $10 million in sales in a decade. But nonetheless, okay. Myers, the Myers sent their restored comic books to CGC for grading. So this is what's going to happen. This is why the case is going on and why it settled this. This is the actual evidence and things like that. The Myers sent in the restoration comic books to CGC for grading. According to the testimony in the case, lead CGC grader Matthew Nelson, yes, Matthew Nelson, who is now the president of CGC, but at the time, he was the lead grader. So back then, he was this, you know, a head grader, and now he's like the president. So, yes, the president. Publicly questioned in an online forum how far uh, this restoration company had gone in its restoration by asser uh, asserting fraud and lawsuits claims. The Myers believed their submissions received a subpar grade and filed for defamation. The couple also asserted their company had lost future business due to the question of fraud. CGC asserted Nelson spoke for himself and not the company. The jury disagreed and ruled in favor of Myers. The Myers did not respond. So basically what happened was Matt Nelson at the time was a head grader. Now he's the president. He basically went on the online forums and said, these people over at, uh, what is the name? Investment Grade Books, a restoring company, they are committing fraud. Uh, they are over restoring their book, blah, 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 blah. Says a bunch of negative stuff about them, probably on the boards and some posts and whatever. And then gives them bad grades on top of that. And so they were like, hey, we're none of those things. You're saying that we committed fraud. We didn't commit fraud and all this kind of stuff. And then obviously a lawsuit ensued and CGC lost, which is pretty crazy. That's CGC, a big company lost. So they must have had a lot of evidence against them. So it wasn't just probably this post. There was probably more evidence beyond Matt Nelson is saying, hey, they committed fraud. There's probably other things that's obviously not in this article. And that's why the case took like nearly 10 years to complete. Probably a lot of, you know, took a while. But nonetheless, they lost. They lost out $10 million. So, yeah, I don't know what CGC is going to do. Maybe we'll see a price raise because they're going to need to get back that $10 million. I know they're kind of hurting right now um, financially. But so that's, yeah, that's a big hit. $10 million gone for defaming someone. Wow. 
uh, yeah, and you know they lost their business. But it has to be more to the story um, other than just this. So, but yeah, they accused him of fraud, and then so hmm, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> Ten million dollars gone. So, yeah. So CGC is going to be hurting now. They're probably going to do have to do something to regain this $10 million. I'm pretty sure they're going to appeal and they'll settle out of their court and who knows what they'll actually settle for. Maybe like $3 million or $2 million or something like that. Way less. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe if someone out there is a legal expert, you can explain to me uh, what the process will be like after this. You know, I, I just feel like CGC isn't just going to cough up $10 million. So, well, so that's what's going on in CGC. Have a good day.